The interesting thing is that everybody thinks I'm a photographer. But indeed, I studied painting at uh, the UDK in Berlin in the 80s. So I was, I'm actually trained as a painter. I come from drawing and painting. And then I uh, discovered that architecture becomes like a, an abstract modernist painting. So uh, doors, chimneys, windows. So this is um, what I was dealing with painting. So the frame of a window becomes um, the frame of the painting in a way. So I was dealing with very formal abstract issues, but being always in relation to architecture. It started with also discovering Mendelssohn, Mies van der Rohe, all these like formal heroes, but also anonymous um, unknown architecture were kind of like jumping into my eyes. So, um, this was kind of like this moment when I was asked by architect friends to do an overground station here in Berlin. And uh, so that's how I came, um, I'm talking a little bit about that because that's how I came to the material, silk screen print on glass. Then I started to experiment with this new medium like printing the silk screen directly on the glass and then the color contains glass pigments and an emulsion. So after the printing process, it's burned inside the glass. And those, this all of a sudden gave me all the variety to experiment. My exploration on the National Gallery was kind of like I came by an invitation. I was, of course, I have been working on Mies van der Rohe especially on the Mies van der Rohe pavilion in 2000 and 2001. But then I almost forgot about Mies van der Rohe. I did not forget about him, but I was then occupied by Californian architecture, by Brazilian architecture, with a huge focus on Lina Bobadi. But then Joachim Jäger uh, said, OK, we're closing the National Gallery. Soon it will be empty of all the artworks. It will be like uh, the ideal moment to photograph it, to see the house without any things that are not part of the architecture. So I said, wow, that's thrilling. I'm, I'm happy to do that. And so I was locked in the house for some days and I was like so super excited about all these different layers of glass and this heavy ceiling and this almost liquid granite floor reflecting all the grid structures of the windows. And so I was really, I made, I don't know how many hundred photographs I made. And then the really lucky thing was that then I was invited for to participate in the Chicago Biennial, the architectural biennial in Chicago in 2017. So I was photographing the National Gallery in 2015, 16. And then this invitation came. So my idea was again to bring Mies van der Rohe to Chicago. So the, his last work from his American time was the National Gallery. And now it's uh, the third round of my Mies van der Rohe project, returning the houses to Berlin. The National, Re National Gallery is now um, and shipped home again, and uh, I'm, I'm showing it at the Haus Lemke, the Mies van der Rohe house. And so I'm very interested in like, like a double exposure. So I will put images of the huge National Gallery into this small and more pri private scale house. Lemke, also by Mies van der Rohe. And I, I will introduce for the first time my screens the huge textile screens I need for printing the images on glass. They are negative, so the, the image on the screen is like a negative. And so I will kind of like 
So this will be part also of exploring the house by putting different images into it and seeing what will happen. Thinking about all these formal, interesting aspects of modern architecture. So that moment when architecture really becomes like um, a formal composition, but it's not. I mean, that was the thing I was so attracted by, this ambiguity between having it um, like an, looking like an almost abstract thing, but then you could recover like little details and plants. And so this is like, I started in the, in the 90s and I'm still dealing with it because there's still so many things that still surprise me.